Complete your ballot by mail Texas style by the League of Women Voters of Texas. Your ballot packet arrives. What is inside? Two helpful information sheets, one from your county early voting clerk, one from the Secretary of State. Your ballot, the ballot secrecy envelope, and the carrier envelope. Step one, research candidates with the League's Nonpartisan Voters Guide at vote411.org. Don't wait, return your ballot by mail as soon as possible. Step two, use a blue or black pen to mark your ballot. Completely fill in the ovals next to your choices. Don't use an X or check mark. Step three, prepare to return your ballot. Place the marked ballot in the ballot secrecy envelope. Seal the envelope. Place a ballot secrecy envelope in the carrier envelope. Do not put more than one ballot in the carrier envelope. Fill out the carrier envelope. The private information you provide will be hidden from view by the carrier envelope flap during the mailing process. Provide your Texas driver's license or Texas personal ID card or election identification certificate number here. Provide the last four digits of your social security number here. Mark here if you have not been issued an ID or a social security number. We recommend providing your contact information so the county election officials may contact you if there is a problem with your ballot. Provide your phone numbers here. Provide your email address here. Review your information. Seal the envelope. The voter signs the envelope. Use the same signature you used on your vote by mail application. Witnessing a ballot. If the voter cannot sign, another person may witness the voter's mark or indicate that the voter cannot sign the carrier envelope. The witness must fill out the instructions to witness section. Write the name of the voter here. If the voter cannot make a mark, check here. The witness signs and prints their name and provides their address here. Assisting a voter with their ballot includes reading or marking a ballot, mailing a ballot, sending a ballot via common carrier mail, such as UPS or FedEx. First read and follow the oath of a person assisting voter. Mark yes or no if you received compensation for assisting the voter. It is against the law to receive compensation to assist a voter. Then print your name and sign here. Provide your relationship to the voter and your address here. Step four, return your ballot. Place a stamp or two if needed on the envelope. Mail your ballot as soon as possible. Use either the U.S. Postal Service or a common carrier such as UPS or FedEx. A ballot without a postmark must be received at your county election office by 7 p.m. on Election Day. A ballot postmarked by Election Day must be received at your county election office no later than 5 p.m. the next business day. If a person who is not a relative mails your ballot, they must fill out the Assisting a Voter section. The voter may hand deliver their marked ballot in person to the county election office on election day while polls are open. The voter must show their ID. Do you want to vote in person instead? Take your vote by mail ballot with you to the polling place and turn it in. You will be allowed to vote a regular ballot. If you lose or forget your vote by mail ballot, you may cast a provisional ballot. You may track your application and ballot at votetexas.gov.